Hi. In this tutorial series, I will cover some of the basics of the new Qs feature from MadMapper 3.5, which will be split over a couple of short videos. Let's start off by creating a surface and linking a media to it, and then drag and dropping that surface onto a Q box. And what this does is that it creates a Q which has only the settings of this surface and its corresponding parameters stored within it. So if I were to change some of these values, like the color and the surface output, and then play the queue. All the changes I made will return back to the state they were in when I stored the surface and its values in this queue. But if I were to change the media's parameters on this side, and then play the queue, those changes do stay and are completely ignored when I play the queue. Because the media's parameters are not stored within this particular queue, in this one, we have the surface and its corresponding parameters. So if I were to add a second surface and change the output of both, and store these settings as a queue by selecting both surfaces and drag dropping them into a new queue. Now, if I play the first queue, you can see that the first surface reverts back to the state that is stored within this particular queue, while the second surface stays just as it is, because this queue does not have any information stored regarding the position of this second surface. So if I move it over here and play this queue again, the surface will stay in its new position. But now if I play the second queue, both surfaces will revert to the position they were in when I stored both surfaces and their corresponding values in this particular queue. So unlike scenes that stores all of MadMapper settings when they are created, with queues, we choose specific parameters to be stored.